Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. I have my husband with me, Thomas, because we just got back from Trader Joe's and we were specifically looking for fall items and maybe fall items that didn't have pumpkin in them. <laughs> not a pumpkin fan. Y'all would not believe what we found that didn't pertain to pumpkin <laughs> for fall. So if you don't like pumpkin, we have some items for you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when we post hauls and cooking videos. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we've got just two frozen items this time that we wanted to show you that were kind of fall based. And so the first one is this butternut squash mac and cheese. Sounds good. Sounds really good and we wanted to try it. So it is mezzi rigatoni pasta with butternut squash puree and a blend of gouda, cheddar, and parmesan cheese. Looks good. It does look good. All right, and then the next thing that we got for the freezer is a savory corn pie. I was really excited about that one. <laughs> it sounds really weird, doesn't it? Corn pie, crushed or crustless <laughs> pie. I don't want my glasses. Leave me alone. Crustless pie with corn, cheddar, cheese, and Anaheim chili pepper. Oh yeah! So, Super excited to try that one. It's pretty heavy. It is one pound. One pound. All right, so we're gonna put these in our freezer and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we only had two freezer items because that's all we had room in the freezer for. <laughs> Gotta start eating out of there. Yeah, the rest of this week is like eat out of the freezer week. All right, so I wanted to show you another item we picked up, this cinnamon crumb coffee cake mix. Thomas was really excited about this one, weren't you? Yes, I was. I like coffee. <laughs> All right, I have a segment on my channel called Cook and Review with Trader Joe's items. So I'm going to be making this really soon for you guys. And I'm going to follow the directions on the back of the box and see if it looks like that when I'm done and if it tastes good. And Thomas will be the taste tester. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Then the next week or so, we will be seeing this. A week? <laughs> Or so. <laughs> what? All right, so until then, I've got him this right here. <laughs> what is that? A maple streusel bread. Ooh, I can smell the maple. Can you smell that? I can smell it. Mm, oh, okay. So that's what it looks like. So we're going to get him to try just a little piece for you. Let me show that anyway. All right, so that's what it looks like. That's a piece. Mm. Oh, you see all that in there? Yum. Mmm. Oh. And definitely sugary. <laughs> All right. That's good. Very mild maple flavor. There we go. So that'll keep them happy until I make this right here. <laughs> Not bloody likely. <laughs> we found these little gems. And these are Harvest Collection and they are all right, so they're Belgian chocolates, and on the back of the box, it has, I'll show the back, you show the front, so that we can read the back of the box. <laughs> Here. Okay. All right. So what's in here is walnut praline, another walnut praline, a hazelnut praline, a caramel cream hazelnut praline, a crispy hazelnut praline, and a crispy hazelnut praline. Lots of pralines. Yes. They're just all in different shapes and different colors. I've got these because last year we saw these and we used them for our Thanksgiving table as a little hors d'oeuvre kind of thing. So and people really loved them but they didn't last and these boxes didn't last at Thanksgiving either. So we wanted to get two of them and put them up until Thanksgiving. Because these are good before January 31st, 2020. So we have time to hold on to these. There we go. All right. Next. Oh, yeah. Look what I found for fall. These are fall zucchetti pasta. And if you can see, they, they are like in the shape of little pumpkins. 
Those are so cute. Oh, they're so good. I can't wait to make a dish with that and use it in a homemade pasta sauce. Oh, they're so good. So you'll see those in one of my dishes. All right. Next, we picked up, oh, I got something for Thomas to try. Here you go, show them. <laughs> Boo! Uh-oh. Bark. All right, this is Halloween related. Boo bark. My favorite time of the year is Halloween. That's how thick it is? He'll bring it up to you. <laughs> show the side of it. That's what it looks like on the front. That's how thick it is. Here we go. My glasses have to come back on. A bewitching mix of chocolate bark studded with candy gems, candy corn, and JoJo's cookie pieces. Oh, that looked like Oreos. Yeah. That's the JoJo's version. That's candy corn right there. <laughs> what do you think? Um, there was a lot going on there. There's a lot going on. I can see that. Woo. The kids will love this. I mean, there's a lot going on there. All right. I don't think I like that. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> the jury's still out. All right. I don't like it with the candy corn. So we got some squash here. Look at that one. I'm going to come up with a recipe and try to figure out how to use that one. But we have plenty of time because he's going to be used for decoration right now with my other pumpkins that I bought last week at Trader Joe's. If you saw that haul, you saw my three little pumpkins. And then this little Jim. I'm calling him Jim because <laughs> he just looked really cute. And they were like really cheap, so I picked them up. It's going to be in the squash family, so. Well, yeah, all pumpkins are, but that's but it's cute. Weird looking. But it's cute. Be bumpy. Alright, so we picked up some vanilla bean paste. This will help us get through the holidays, making some delicious desserts and meals. What do you think? I think so. Oh yeah, that's the paste. That's the good stuff. Thomas likes diffusers. I do. Yeah. This is a mini scented diffuser with honey crisp apple. Ooh, so I love honey crisp. So here's the little thing that the liquid climbs up onto and makes it smell really good. And then here's the honey crisp apple Ooh, scented a lot. diffuser. That's a lot. Yeah, that's man. a lot. So you take this cap off and then you stick this in there and then the scent just surrounds the stick and just blossoms out. And then you run and go yeah. buy me some honey crisp apples. Because <laughs> he's going to be looking around for them. All right. I like this. We got Really? Extra virgin olive oil with herbs in it. Very unique. So you can see, I wonder if you can see all the herbs in there. I can get them up close. All right. There's a lot of herbs in there, so that looked like really cool to use for the holiday season coming up. Can you see it? All the herbs that are in there floating around. Hopefully you can. But yeah, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of time yeah. in there. Yeah, basting, marinating, roasting vegetables. Okay, so it's got extra virgin olive oil, herbs de province, which is rosemary, bay leaf, thyme, basil, marjoram, savory, and oregano. So this was really cool. This was over there so by it's their... all Italian stuff. Yes. So this was next to their oils and things like that because I was over there to get some olive oil spray for my pans and stuff like that when I'm making cakes or anything. And we saw this. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yep. Okay, so speaking of that, so yes, I did pick up some olive oil spray because we ran out of our avocado oil spray. And we did. We did. So we're going to use that olive oil spray right now. All right. And to make it even smell more like an apple pie in here, we got the cinnamon whisk. Not the broom, because that'll knock you out. Oh, wow, yeah. But we got the whisk. See? That's what it looks like right there. Because that broom 
you could smell that coat about 30 feet from the door. You could smell the cinnamon from those brooms. So it was nice to see the mini version. And I like cinnamon. He so. does like cinnamon. But we can't, I don't cook with a lot of cinnamon because I can't deal with cinnamon too much. So hopefully that's not going to be too overwhelming. Which it hasn't been. We've had it here for a couple of hours and it's not yeah, been it's not overwhelming bad. at all. So I can't wait to get it out of the package though. We also got some apple cider jam. Now, doesn't that sound good? How about on top of a vanilla cake? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. How about just like... I gotta get a spoon. I got. I've been this. looking for something to to put on top of a vanilla cake. The Trader Joe's brand vanilla cake. I've been trying to put jam on it, and I'm thinking that this is going to fit the bill. Oh my! You smell it? Oh my! That oh. ain't gonna make it very far. That's that is good. I usually don't eat jams like this, but <laughs> oh my god. Right. That tastes like an apple pie. Apple cider Without jam. the crust. Alright, they have apple crisp candles just to let y'all know, alright, for the holiday season. And we did one last year and I was looking for a different smell. And since we've got apple cider everything, um, I picked up this one here. Let me tell you the scent of it. God, I smelled it in the store and it smelled so good. Vanilla pumpkin. And it is such a warm scent. Oh, that it's is nice. It's not pumpkin-y. Uh -uh. But it's nice and warm and fallish. Oh my gosh. That's really nice. So it's not a pure pumpkin, but it's got vanilla in there. So I was a little, I smell the vanilla yeah. over the pumpkin. I was a little worried about it too, but then when I opened it up and smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh. We picked up some dark chocolate covered honey grams with sea salt. Mmm, that'll be good. Oh yeah, you can see the sea salt on there. Oh, these smell good. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's quite a bit of sea salt on there. So there's like little honey grams covered in dark chocolate with sea salt. You get that many of them. They're good. All right, we got a winner. Yay! You get the hit of salt, then you get the hit of sweet. We consider this a fall treat, right? Mm -hmm. We consider it a fall treat. <laughs> I did pick up something that was pumpkin. Pumpkin pie spice by Trader Joe's. Definitely gonna need that around Thanksgiving time when I'm mm. making my pumpkin stuff. <clears throat> Something else we picked up now. Cinnamon bun spread. Is that mm. what it's called? Cinnamon yeah. bun spread. Cinnamon bun spread. All right, so I've been on social media on Instagram and Facebook and it's been 50-50 with whether people like this or not and it's something new. It smells like, <laughs> it smells like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> I'm getting a new spoon so don't freak out folks. Ooh, wow. It's oh. kind of honey like. Alright, I don't want it to just fall out of the air. That, I don't know. We don't know yet. You almost taste cinnamon. I don't know Not if sure. I like that. That's, uh, I don't know, the consistency is more of uh, soft butter. Alright, so it says it's a rich, gooey, honey butter base spread with cinnamon bun spices. I don't taste the honey though. Okay, if you've had this and you like it on something like toast or I, I don't know, tell us how you would use this. That might would, be good on toast. I would make a cake and then pour this all over and smear it all over there. No, no, no. <laughs> That's what I would do. Wait, okay. it's time for Halloween. Look at this. Tortilla chips? Nope. Those are crispy potato snacks. Oh. <laughs> See? Halloween. Okay. Wow, look at those. Those are cool. You can show them those. <laughs> That's the bat. That's the bat. And then we have, what do they tell you in there? Really thin. Ghosts. So that's the bat or a ghost? That's the bat. What do you have? That's the bat. Yeah, that's the bat. What is that? 
Oh, here's a ghost. All right. There we go. There you go. Here, take that and take. Is this the bat? Yep. All right. We're going to do a close up for you. Or he's going to do a close up. <laughs> that's the bat. And that's the ghost. All right, so that's what they look like. We got these last year, so this wasn't new for us this year, but we really liked them last year. And then plus, look, look how fun they look. My husband loves apple cider, as you can tell. <laughs> so we found these little, I'm going to call them gems again, <laughs> little apple cider cookies. So I wanted him to try one and see what, they, what he thinks. I made apple cider cookies last year, and it's one of my videos, and if I can remember, I'll link it down below. So we're going to see what he thinks of these. <clears throat> Mm. Oh. Yeah, that smells good. Mm. A whole box of them smells really good. Oh, it smells, it smells good. They're very thin and wafery like, right? Mm -hmm. Very thin and crunchy and wafery like. Oh, yeah. That's Here's what they sound like. Alright, I'll link it down below if I can remember and then um, you can tell me. Instead of buying these, make hers. These are, eh, hers are awesome. So, if you like awesome, you know what to do. All right. Put it down. What is that? Another fall item? Organic Vermont maple syrup from a bourbon barrel aged. Ooh, bourbon. I like bourbon. Oh, boy. Look at these right here. Fall leaf corn tortilla chips. They look like fall leaves. They look like fall leaves. All right. We got an acorn. Nope, yep. Try an acorn. acorn. Yep. We got That'll a leaf. Those are good. Mm-hmm. They're all good. Mm. Need some pico. They have this color. Mm, hold out. Hold out. That's a maple leaf. For our Canadian friends, there's your maple leaf. y'all that was everything on our trader joe's haul if you have a favorite let us know in the comments down below what was your favorite um my favorite is probably this right here the apple cider jam apple cider jam all right and mine is going to be making this cinnamon crunch coffee cake mix here so stay tuned for that video all right um, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when our hauls come out and when my cooking videos come out. Alright everyone, we will see you on our next episode. Bye.